Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. Jeff Hudson here from United Computer Consultants. Welcome to the channel and particularly welcome to this Excel training video. This is a very large spreadsheet. It goes down 2,150 odd rows and about 11 columns across. I want to look at how I can analyse data in very large spreadsheets. At the moment this particular worksheet has been sorted by customer ID. But I can sort of course in other ways. So what we'll be looking at here are efficient ways to sort, uh, efficient ways to filter, uh, how I can sort by colour, which is absolutely a brilliant way to look at things, and also how I can use conditional formatting to uh, set up the colour sorting base. Now first of all, let's look at sorting. At the moment, because the customer <coughs> IDs are the sort basis, I don't particularly want them. I want to sort by salesperson in um, ascending order. So I'll click in any cell in the salesperson column and I always use the data tab in the sort and filter group where I see all of my sorting possibilities here. So I want to sort A to Z and without even thinking about it Excel does that for me. And if I scroll down I'll prove that Andrew Fuller active, then Ann Doddsworth, then Janet Leveling, etc. So they're all in alphabetical order now. But what if I wanted to see the salespeople and the dates that their orders were placed on. Now if I sort by order date, we'll say with the latest one at the top, then the salesperson is going to be uh, changed and I won't be able to see the salesperson with the order date. So what I need to do is to click on this button, on the data sort button. And then I say sort by salesperson based on the values A to Z and then add a level and then by I want to see by the order date on the values but I want to see the newest ones first, the latest ones first. So now when I click OK there I see it. The salesperson is still in ascending alphabetical order but the order dates for that particular salesperson now start at the latest order and work, they work their way down. So if I scroll down for analysis sake and I come to Ann Doddsworth, here's uh, Ann Doddsworth, there she is, uh, I can see here also that her uh, sales uh, order dates have also been sorted in um, uh, latest first. Now you'll notice that, that as I scroll down that the headings were removed. What I need to do here is to freeze those headings across the top and I can do it quite easily. I'll click in this cell and then I'll go to the view tab, uh, freeze panes, freeze panes, keep rows and columns. In this case I could just freeze the top row. So this is a, I'm using Excel 2013. So that's what we'll do, freeze the top row. Now as I scroll down, then I see that the headings remain, which makes it much easier for me. So, we've now filtered thus. As I scroll down, I see that all of the salespeople are available. But what if I wanted to analyse the data by filtering out the salespeople that I don't want to see? In other words, I'm going to convert this data set to what is called a table. And the way I do that is simply to click in any cell, having made sure that there are no blank rows or blank columns for reasons that we shall see. So if I click insert and insert a table, Excel says where is the data? And it guesses that entire range had I had blank rows or columns it would have stopped when it came to a blank row or column 
and I would have had to override the uh, the suggestion here, which can be um, a bit daunting in very large spreadsheets. My table ha has headers. Yep, there are the headers there. I'll click OK, and what I see is that Excel bans the rows for easier reading. I can change the colours if I wish by clicking down here and then simply um, hovering the mouse over the various colours in the table styles. I'll leave them as they are. But importantly, I see the drop arrows here, the filter buttons. So what I want to do is to look at the salespeople here. I see they're all ticked, so they're all available. But I only want to see, let's say, Margaret Peacock. <clears throat> so I'll untick select all and put a tick in Margaret Peacock and then click OK. And there, when I scroll up, all I will see are Margaret Peacock's data. So, nice and easy. I can then analyse. I can also sort using the previous methods if I wished within that filtered information. And to go back to see everybody, I simply need to click on the where the arrow was and clear the filter from the salesperson everybody is back where they were so now I can um, analyze further if I wish so remember tables enable you to filter out the data and also sort within the filtered data so far so good we'll just scroll across here a little bit Now when I click on a arrow here in the table, I see there is a command here, sort by colour. Let's see how this works. This can be extremely handy because I notice here that there is a salesperson called Michael Suyama. What I want to do is to fill the cells that contain his name with a colour so that I can then sort by colour and put all of his information at the very top but still have available to me all of the other salespeople. So I'll just cancel that and I'm going to use in the Home tab a command called Conditional Formatting. The key here is to select the cells that you want to be involved in the Conditional Formatting. So I'm going to click in the first cell for the salesperson and then hold down Control shift and the down arrow and that selects all the cells all the way down to 2156 row. Now what I'm going to do is in the conditional formatting I'm going to say highlight cell rules for cells that contain the word Suyama. I'll accept one of the default colours, light red fill with dark red text, and I'll click OK. No problem, I'll click away there. Now if I look for Michael Suyama further up here, there are all the cells that contain his name filled in red. Now what I'm going to do is to sort by colour. So I click on the drop arrow here and sort by colour. There's the colour there, and now he has been put on top. So there are all of his, all of his um, sales, which I can now easily, easily analyse because he is on the top. To remove the conditional formatting, which made it easy for me to see anything from Suyama, I could simply click on the button here and clear the rules from the selected cells or from the entire sheet. I won't do that just at the moment because what I want to do now is to give the cells containing Margaret Peacock a colour as well so I can put her up here under Suyama. So again I'm going to go to the very top of the spreadsheet, click in the first cell in the salesperson, control shift drop arrow remember I must select all of the cells then go to conditional formatting highlight cell rules with text that contains the word peacock 
and we won't fill these with the same colour of course, we'll fill them with yellow fill with dark yellow text and we'll click OK. Now what I want to do is to sort by colour and this time by the yellow ones and there is Margaret Peacock and below her is Michael Suyama so there we go, that's, that's how I simply sort by, by colour now hopefully you've gleaned that the analysis of very large spreadsheets can be efficiently handled by using correct sorting, filtering and conditional formatting techniques thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe we love likes and comments as well of course and uh, see you next time. Bye for now.